Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to talk about something I normally don't talk about, but that is vitamins in our diet, specifically magnesium. Did you know that magnesium plays a vital role in maintaining our overall health, potentially safeguarding against age-related chronic disease, yet many people don't get enough magnesium? While you often hear about the importance of vitamin D and zinc for boosting your immunity, even vitamin C, another important but overlooked nutrition is magnesium. Up to 15% of the people in the United States don't get enough magnesium, which may have negative health consequences. A study published in the European Journal of Nutrition in June adds to the growing body of evidence, highlighting the importance of magnesium for overall health. By linking low magnesium levels to increased DNA damage, researchers at the University of, of South Australia suggested that magnesium may be particularly central in, protect, in protecting against age-related chronic diseases. Researchers analyzed blood samples from 172 middle-aged adults and found a correlation between low magnesium levels and elevated amounts of homocysteine, an amino acid linked to increased risk of dementia, heart attack, and stroke. Homocysteine is an amino acid. Vitamins B12, B6, and folic break down homocysteine to create other chemicals in your body that you need. High homocysteine levels may mean that you have a vitamin deficiency. Without treatment, elevated homocysteine increases your risk of dementia, heart disease, and stroke. So the researchers found that people had a correlation between low magnesium and elevated levels of homocysteine. Participants with magnesium levels below 8 milligrams per liter were more susceptible to a broad range of other health issues such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, and various cancers. Magnesium plays a critical role in more than 600 enzymes in the body. This essential mineral is integral to critical physiological processes including energy production, the regulation of blood pressure and blood sugar control, low magnesium intake has even been linked to accelerated aging. The study highlighted several excellent dietary sources of magnesium such as whole grains, dark leafy greens, nuts, beans, and dark chocolate. Other good sources of dietary magnesium include pumpkin and chia seeds, nuts such as almonds, cashews, and peanuts, green leafy vegetables such as spinach, kale, and collard greens, whole grains including wheat, oats, barley, buckwheat, and quinoa. There's also legumes, beans, bean products like edamame, tofu, navy beans, and black beans. Unfortunately, not everyone has access to foods that help them meet their everyday needs requirements for minerals and vitamins. So we have supplements as an alternative. The recommended dietary allowance, RDA, for magnesium is 400 to 420 milligrams for men and 310 and 320 milligrams for women. Like always, before taking supplements, consider with your doctor to ensure they don't interfere with any medication or existing health conditions. According to Forbes magazine, Forbes Health, typically adults have about 25 milligrams of magnesium in their body. Roughly 50 to 60 percent of that magnesium is contained in the bones with the rest located largely in the soft tissues, such as muscles, tendons, nerves, and tissues surrounding joints. They also say that certain people, however, are particularly susceptible to magnesium deficiency, including older adults and those with certain conditions, such as type 2 diabetes or gastrointestinal concerns like Crohn's disease. 
and celiac disease and autoimmune disease resulting in gluten intolerance. Forbes Health also says that early indications of possible magnesium deficiency may include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, weakness, and fatigue. Severe deficiencies may include symptoms like numbness, tingling, muscle cramps, and contractions, abnormal heart rhythm, coronary spasms, seizures, and even personality changes such as apathy, depression, confusion, or agitation. Maybe that's what's going on in the world nowadays. People have a magnesium deficiency. When I have my every six months to a year visit with the doctor, they always ask me if I'm still taking magnesium. And I think they think it's great because there's been no questions about taking extra magnesium on a daily basis. So I thought I would share that with you. You might give it a try for about a month. See if you have less pain, more energy. So what are your thoughts? Do you take extra magnesium as a supplement? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.